Hey guys, Happy New Year and welcome to the latest mod, the first edition of uh, 2018 for the Skyrim mods for the PlayStation 4. Uh, last time I was with you it was uh, probably just before Christmas and I sort of, was as I promised I was going to be back uh, on the 5th of January, I think it's the 5th of January at least, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. We're going to be going over the latest mods in a second. I uh, just want to do the usual uh, self channel promotion stuff first. If I can ask you, please, as always, like the videos. Uh, it means more than you could possibly know in the fact that it basically, for every time you like a video, it increases the chance of our videos getting seen by others and appearing on the recommendations. So please, like the videos it only takes a split second to actually do it so please give videos a like uh secondly uh happy holidays to everybody who uh celebrates christmas and uh to those people who didn't happy hanukkah and every other uh holiday that would you would have been celebrating over the festive season and happy new year again as well uh my ambition for this year is to try and get the channel a little bit of oomph and a growth to it uh i want to try and hit the 1k mark before new year next year it, it might happen it might not but if i don't at least try and aim big or bigger then uh, it's you, what you're really doing it for if you're not going to try and improve as well uh one thing i will say as well you probably notice there is a lot of videos getting uploaded at the moment this is mostly because normally I'll try and keep to a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday upload schedule uh, just basically because that's the easiest days and it frees me up some time in between so you record the gameplay, edit the gameplay, have some time with the family as well uh, so yeah the, at the moment it's been pretty hectic trying to get as many of the videos out as I can I'm trying to finish off a couple of gameplay series I'm starting to come towards the end of the videos I actually have for Fallout 4 now uh, those will be wrapping up over the next several weeks, uh, probably about 20 videos left to go in, in, in that. I think it ends around about video 95. But I will still be doing continuing mod showcases, uh, which will follow on from uh, the 95th video. But obviously uh, they won't be as long and they won't be a gameplay centric unless uh, it, I'm actually covering a gameplay mod, which I'm still looking to find some which are really good for both Skyrim and Fallout. Uh, aiming to try and do a Skyrim gameplay series at some point. Uh, at the moment it's on the back burner just because there is so many other things i'm trying to juggle at the same time doing assassin's creed syndicate replay through because it was one of the last the first games i was actually playing on the playstation 4 just before i started doing uh the chrono gaming channel i wasn't able to record anything from the first time i played through it so i decided to go back to it as well as some of the other assassin's creeds that you can now get on the playstation 4 including black flag and unity as well and i'm going to systematically put those on mostly for my own archives but if people want to watch them then i do appreciate the views and the likes that you might put on them as well continuing uh, stuff with assassin's creed origins that will be going are on probably throughout the year as well including some of the dlc that is coming out obviously there's a dlc this year unfortunately though i do in terms of when you'll see it on the channel uh i wish i could say i'm going to put it up straight away but i'm trying to upload everything in order so if you start from video one you're seeing the game all the way through until the very very end and the last of the dlc <clears throat> so uh, you probably won't see the DLC as and when it comes out, unfortunately, but, but that's something I, I've had to live with uh, in terms of just getting as much footage out as I can. The main story of the game is actually done, it's just waiting on the DLC now and getting the videos up. Uh, we'll be continuing on now with some of the, the other the, uh, games that I've got, obviously continuing uh, non-stop usually with GTA and GTA Funny Moments, the Doomsday High stuff. Uh, we're attempting to go for a complete run on that where you can actually earn the $10 million uh, in-game, unfortunately not in real life. Uh, so that will be coming up in the new year, as well as a bunch of other different stuff as well. Currently doing four uh, 
The Sims 4 on uh, the, the PlayStation 4 as well, but I'm not really recording any of that. It's more just for my own downtime as he does the causation thing, as it, uh, it, if you can call it that. But if people are interested in seeing it, then let me know, and I'll start uploading some stuff from that as well, although, although I don't really know how I would structure a, a gameplay video unless I do it in a Big Brother TV series kind of style, where it's like day one in the Big Brother house I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything we've got coming up this year. Uh, thank you for indulging me if you're still with us at this point. And uh, basically, I'm going to get on with the mods. Now, there is no Creation Club mods this week. It is basically the same stuff that you would have seen in December's video, uh, that being the 100% off the Mud Crab, the, uh, the Dwarven Armored Mud Crab, which I think is a little bit of a cheat, but what the hell? Uh, it's Bethesda's choice. Uh, one thing I will say as well, if you're keeping up with the news at the moment, there is something going around about mods, and I don't know 100% what it is. I've only caught the brief headlines before I started doing this this morning, so I'm still catching up on some of the information. I don't know if it's information about mods being stopped, mods basically having the limitations lifted, uh, or some kind of clamp down on them. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just going off the speculation that's going around in my head off some of the stuff that I've actually seen off little news headline bits and pieces that I get from EV, uh, Yahoo News and uh, YouTube the basic notifications of other people I will uh, subscribe to as well. So once I know something for sure on that, and it's not just some guy that's posted something on the forums and then everybody's gone ballistic and he just made the, the stuff up. Uh, as soon as I know for sure what is going on with that, I will let you guys know. I'll probably do a separate video on it as well. And until then, we're just gonna get straight into the latest mods. Finally. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, right off the start, you've got Obsidian Weathers. This is by Arendelle. Uh, this one basically uh, sharp, ominous, and atmospheric. Obsidian Weathers accentuates proximal uh, detail where obscuring distant landscapes in mysterious rolling fogs and atmospheric scattering. Obsidian is a collaborative work, a hybridization of artistic styles that glorifies Skyrim uh, for her beauty while preserving her dated modesty. And it goes on to list a bunch of different stuff which have been improved as well. I'm not going to go through all of them. As you can pretty much see from the screenshots, they do drastically overhaul some of the game. And there is quite a lot of screenshots there as well. Okay. Uh, use of Force of Skyrim mod. Uh, been over this quite a few times. Basically, just changes a lot of the powers and abilities that you would have in the game into Jedi Sith type of abilities. So you would have like Force Lightning and things like that, and, and uh, the ability to Force Push, which is technically just the ability to show. Uh, Eleanor, the Wood Elf follower. No screenshots, unfortunately, and no details, so I can't really give you anything on that one. Uh, Dippy's Riverwood, no screenshots again, meant to be user with Dippy Starter and there's a couple of basic information here for like horses, 400 stamina and stuff like that as well. Uh, Paralyzed Spell for the PlayStation 4, only one download on that so uh, again just basic stuff that's been rehashed I think most of the time. Magical College of Winterhold you got uh, the new follower from Marin Chan pack. Uh, Doomstone's Redone. This is a standing stone overhaul inspired by similar mods like Aurora, and that's available on PlayStation 4. Uh, he have used the ideas from th these other mods and tweaked them as well as his own ideas. The intention is to make character building more unique and interesting by diversifying standing stone benefits and weaknesses. The standing stones, uh, I'm not going to go through all of these because there is quite a lot obviously. The apprentice stone as an example has plus all spells cast uh, cost 25% less magicka and novice spells are free. Uh, take 
the, the minus from that is uh, take 10% more damage from weapons. Uh, the Archonox Stone is plus 33% chance to absorb Magicka, 33% less Magicka costs, and gain 300 points of Magicka. Magicka will not regenerate though. So um, it has like a plus minus on most of these as well. A couple of them are, there isn't enough minus effect uh, actually on it. Ritual Stone is still unchanged and most of these uh, the steed stone which i know a lot of people do like if you don't want to use a carry weight ring uh carry weight is increased by 250 points armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down when worn and there is no negative effect to that one and uh, the tower stone once a day unlock any master level or lower lock lock picking is 50 percent easier and there's no negative effect on that one warrior stone all normal damage taken is reduced by 30 percent and all magic damage taken is increased by 15% so there's on most of these for every extra benefit you're getting there is a negative one as well uh sir ruin's personal cheat okay uh Sh shades of night playable vampire race we've actually been through this one quite a few times and every time it's updated it does reappear in the latest uh cat kids okay just replaces Alison with and sophie okay uh tls combat immersive instinct the playstation 4 please excuse the zipping in the background it's actually dash message going through her art bags uh, all attacks blocking and drawing a bow uses stamina. Supernatural vampire and werewolf races have supernatural strengths. So they know how to knock down upon every level. You and your enemies will go stronger in every aspect possible. Uh, melee archery and magic finally hitting the max level at 253. Your character now taunts enemies during combat as well. And uh, things for survival mode as well. Uh, Passive things that now use stamina, swimming, lot picking, pickpocketing, shouts, running, bleeding out if you're not treated will kill your foes as well as yourself. Wound animals to where they are bleeding out to make it easier to hunt prey. So yeah, that one is TLSI Combat Immersive Instinct for the PlayStation 4. A little bit of an extra immersive mod for you. Uh, in I was actually looking at this one just before I went live. I was curious as to what it was. Uh, basically, without going through all the stuff, the author of this one, uh, Ken Pat Down Three, uh, has gone through and made things more to. Well, it, it's his personal buff mod, so obviously it's not catered to everybody. But he's made things like, say, the storm cloaks appear not so much like a military force, like they are a thrown together rough and tumble ragtag band of hardened warriors to quote what it actually says on the screen there who are defending their way of uh, way of life as they see it so they're not as again they're, they're not a well organized military with uniforms like the legion has so you'll probably encounter some people who might have a storm cloak uniform on but then you'd, you'd find some others who are just running around in a pair of rags or something like that not every person who's a storm cloak will necessarily have the uniform on just makes it a, a little bit more believable i suppose in, in some way uh next up we have got daedric ladies of the night okay uh this one is by scion fury uh, this mod was made for someone who was quite specific what he wanted, and he ha uh, I enjoyed obligingly. Uh, obliging. Oh, okay. The first complete follower is Chris, uh, based on a slightly modified Hiroki. Uh, he changed her voice type, shortened her a little bit, and chunked her up a tad. She can call a cloak of bats to drain hell from enemies, uses the twin daedric swords and uses modified dread what? and uses a modified dread zombie spell, okay, uh, where she can bring dead back to life. Uh, she also uses the vampiric missile drain attack. She can summon the reaper from the soul cairn. She can be found in Helga's bunkhouse 
uh, in Rifton. Will level up to 85, can be married, stewardable, and for half fire homes as well. This mod will feature two other female followers as he completes the mod and will be coming in future updates. Uh, in version 5.0, he added Chrissy, a powerful but hopefully not overpowered archer. She will summon a werewolf uh, who can turn summon uh, who can turn summon a flaming familiar. Uh, she wields a daedric bow with several enchantments. Uh, she uses an enchanted dismay shout, casts the back cloak spell, and uh, to drain enemies' health when they are in range. She also has a capable vampire drain spell for enemies uh, when they are relatively close proximity. She can also be found in Helga's bunkhouse. In Riften is marriable and stewardable as well. So you can see there. Uh, I think he's put the first one in the Saviour's Hide and the second one looks like it might be possibly the Force Worn Armour. Uh, I'm not entirely sure but I think it, yeah, it does look like the Force Worn Armour on the Archer. But obviously most cases like this you can change them anyway so uh your storage cloud storage system uh borders of borderlands of skyrim not really a new one it does pop up pretty much every single week uh follower moto hentai uh a new maran chan pack one civil war battlefields uh you've got shiva's team developer utility okay i do mention this one pretty much every single time and it's worthwhile uh basically in this uh it's a basically a primary storage area where you can go in see some of the stuff that they are working on uh and some of the stuff is absolutely for skyrim on the playstation 4 it's groundbreaking I would say because there are stuff that they're putting together which will definitely once they start bringing the stuff out and bringing Dutch mods out be sure to check these out as well if you're not going to check out this mod be sure to check out uh, Shiva the creator uh, in terms of the actual mods they did one over Halloween which completely changed a lot of the city hold uh, for Halloween and it was really good and uh, now they're doing a little workshop here where you can actually see some of the stuff that they are working on at the moment. They are looking for some people at the moment as well if you are interested in working for them. They're looking for writers and modders as well. Uh, so if you are interested in that, contact them uh, at uh, shivathecreatoroutlook.com and uh, if you haven't already joined them, you can join them at PlayStation 4 Community Shiva the Creator mod page as well. Uh, don't forget to mention where you actually saw this on Crunch Gaming now as please as well because uh, it all helps with the, the feedback uh, so yeah uh, basically if you want to see some of the stuff that they're working on check it out because there is some really good stuff in there and uh, once this stuff starts coming out there are going to be a lot of happy people especially considering the, the lack of external assets that we're allowed to have on the PlayStation 4 as well this uses in-game assets to make things near enough as good as if we would have had the externals as well guaranteed there's some external assets which completely revamp clothing and stuff that you can't find in the the, the game world uh obviously you can't do anything about that but these take the stuff that you do have in, in the game world and make it look brand new completely through skyrim unchanged storm cloaks uh Winterhold Gate, okay. Uh, Winterhold Gate, PlayStation 4 Special Edition version. This is a version for the PlayStation Special 4. Winterhold always seemed to him to, uh, to have gotten the short end of the straw when Skyrim was being made. With its destroyed town vibe and city always felt too open and exposed to attack. With this mod, he aims to fix that and add a little bit more to the town. Winterhold Gates adds a gateway to the town along with the main uh, along the main road, with two patrolling guards making it feel more secure, like a town should be. Features a gateway to Winterhold, patrolling guards. Guards will change sides if the hold switches control due to the civil war. Fully nav mesh, nav shed, nav meshed, yeah, nav meshed, <laughs> has a dragon perch too. Uh, okay, so yeah no major screenshots for that unfortunately but it does have a little bit of a gateway there for you to see uh spx ring you've got close husband uh skyforge steel dagger recipe 
Uh, new Marin Chan follower pack. Uh, Starcastic Dragon Snarky Loading Screens. Got awesome artifacts. And I think, yeah, I've covered that one before. Extra, extra expert spells and staves. Uh, no blood anymore. Dark Owl War and Mythos. You got something there. Enchanting perk. Uh, Telvani Takeover. Kurt, Kurt, okay. Test armor mods. You got brighter torches. Uh, simply darker nights. Fix your aim. No more moonwalking. Uh, no Marin Chan pack. Uh, Skyrim restored, but it basically puts back in, much like the Fallout restored what mod. Basically restores a lot of the content that was cut for the special edition from Skyrim, and uh, that's it basically. New homes for Skyrim PlayStation Edition. Iron and steel is what you need. Uh, you got Artificer's Gloves, the final chapter. Wolf Blooded. Uh, Hawk Mothifier, or something like that. Christmas Man. Uh, maximum Kill Move Chance. Uh, early Decapitations, more Decapitations. Bigger Kill Move, more Kill Moves. Higher Kill Move Chance. Ultimate Kills. <laughs> seeing a common theme here. Helmetless Combat. Uh, more kill moves and decapitations, uh, thieves and assassins. You got battle mages and superior uh, spell swords are superior mods. Uh, crusades a superior mod. <sighs> Knights a superior treasure and rewards mod. Uh, fifty percent more gold a superior treasure and rewards mod. <laughs> Triple gold a superior treasure and rewards mod. Double Gold, a Superior Treasure and Rewards, uh, Road to Morfall, uh, Amazing Race Tweaks Argonian mod, Amazing Race Tweaks for Nord, Amazing Race Tweaks for Dark Elf, uh, Dragon, Hall, Dragon Skulls Hunters um, what mod, which basically uh, allows you a little mini quest which basically has you hunting down all of the, uh, the Dragon Skulls, uh, same with the Troll Skulls. Uh, you got new Marin Chan pack three there. Uh, no more dead merchants, which I've got. I must admit, it does come in handy. O overstocked and rich merchants. Uh, overstocked and rich merchants light version. Uh, you got soul gem mining and crafting. Better potion recipes. Uh, craftable ring of Hercene. So if you don't want to if you want to get the Savior's hide without necessarily doing the trick where you basically get back out of the cave and then come back in to receive the ring, and this one's for you. Actually, no, sorry, you get the ring when you go out the cave and then you come back in to get the Savior's hide. Uh, more forges, grinders, and workbenches. More smelters, a game environment. By the way, if anyone is curious about that, check out the gameplay videos I've actually done because I do actually show you how to actually do that. Uh, smithing supply chests, player home keys, okay, game epic tweaks, uh, Ring of Tiber Septon, uh, Uruk of Agmar, left handed elf race, okay, Geo the friendly talking Draga, uh, Rain the Snow effects, again, this is a mod I did a long, long, long time ago, so if you are interested in seeing what that looks like, then the videos are up on the mod showcase you may need to go down quite a few videos though to find it fendrix magic world lootable giants clubs no more dead followers various dragons uh elder gleam sanctuary house color add nocturnal robe as you can see there's one i own and i have done a mod showcase for in the past so again check it out a uh, multiple follower system moira age moira lord follower Marry all for the PlayStation 4, again, one I have, but uh, to be honest, I don't actually need this now. Uh, especially, this is handy more if you don't want Serana or any of uh, uh, the already pre-existing marryable ones as your spouse. You can actually use this on pretty much anybody, and they will basically, uh, provide you've got the amulets of Mara, it will... Uh, offer up for conversation so you have a bit more choice in who it is you want to marry within the game uh, immersive citizens or ai overhaul ashara skyrim characters mentioned on four videos earlier because ashara's uh fallout faces was on there uh, this is one I, I used to use for my character but i've since uh been using a different one 
and that is it so yeah uh thank you to everybody who's tuned in uh throughout the video and thank you to everybody who's tunes in on a weekly basis and supports the channel as well uh what a couple of the featured ones i do want to quickly go over uh before i actually move off uh as like most people know i'm a firm supporter of invoker gray uh, dash mode because he basically on the ball mods made me my very own mod i didn't ask for it i, I just think uh, he just wanted to support the channel and made me my own but mod so uh, as a return thank you for that i'm just going to go over a couple of his mods that he has got over on skyrim as well uh yeah you've got this one which is a uh, creation club update it's for the dwarven pet mud crab and uh yeah uh, you can put a, uh, uh, yeah. you can put a goat race swap for the dwarven, the dwarven mud crab. Uh, you do need to have the original creation club file though first, and the uh, pet dwarven mud crab is now a snow leopard as well. So again, it changes the dwarven mud crab into a snow cat or a goat. So you don't necessarily have to have this really weird looking golden mud crab following you around. Instead, you can have something like a snow cat instead. So yeah, those are the, the two extra ones I just wanted to put on because they are relatively new mods. Uh, so again, thank you to everybody who does tune in and supports the, the channel i do appreciate it unbelievably don't forget please everybody like the videos check out some of the other content and also put a like on them as well it will help the channel to get noticed by it what more people i'm trying to find some new ways of tagging the videos because obviously putting in the exact information about what it is you're actually seeing in the videos isn't always probably going to end up with the best results so I don't know, maybe I should put in a free money guide or something like that to actually bring and cheat the system like everybody else does. But uh, I'm looking for any suggestions on what is usually a good tag for the video. If I'm already using it, then uh, I'd pretty much, well, obviously don't actually need it. But if you are a YouTube uploader yourself or you do upload the occasional videos and you've had a bit of success with what kind of things to put in drop us a line in the comment section i mean uh, it isn't just for my benefit if there's any other people out there who watch these who are also uploaders then it's a combined source of information between us guys who actually do this those guys those girls whoever uh, so yeah uh thank you for watching the video don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already click the notifications to never miss a video and i will be back next friday with the topic mod which i have no idea which one it's going to be because i'm going to have to go through my playlist to find out what the last topic actually was what i might actually do because i know a lot of people are interested in the armor mods the cheat mods the clothing mods and a few of the other ones like follower mods so because the other ones haven't been that popular the uh the ones like environment mods and things like that further down the list and it is going to get more weird topics as they go down i might start now going over on a three weekly basis or even like a monthly basis go through uh the main categories you guys are interested in according to my statistics so if you're interested in armor videos i'll do an armor video then i'll do a, a latest mod then i'll do a clothing video then i'll do a latest mod then i'll do a follower mod then i'll do a latest mod then i'll do a cheat mod and then on the end of the fourth week once i've done a latest mod again i'll go back to doing the armor mods and see if that's any better for you so either way uh thank you again to everybody who does tune in i know i say it over and over again but it does mean an awful lot to me and i do appreciate the support you guys give to the channel and to me personally so thank you very much and i will see you next week for more of the mod reviews and hopefully we might have some creation club stuff as well depending on if bethesda have updated it so thank you again and i will see you next week bye